Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to Drunk Knitting, the Iceland edition. Cheers. Just wanted to do a quick intro to what we're going to be doing over the videos that you'll be watching in the coming weeks. Um, because our trip to Iceland got postponed with our new book that we're working on, we've decided that when we do get to Iceland, Kyle Cassidy is going to knit a sweater. Now, because Kyle Cassidy has never knit before, we thought it'd be fun if he could learn via Zoom, um, since that's what we're doing in 2020. We're in lockdown. <laughs> so over the coming weeks, you're going to see Kyle learn how to knit, progress as a knitter. And by the time we get to Iceland, he is going to cast on his own Lopapasia and knit it. And hopefully not put my eye out in the meantime. <laughs> It'll be great. I just said that like knitting is the perfect thing to learn in the COVID era because you're quarantined at home, you have something to do. And if somebody tries to get within six feet of you, <laughs> all right, so we're going to do our checklist of what Kyle needs to learn over these coming weeks. The very I'll first be, thing. I'll be able to read our book then when it comes out. Yes. I'll be able to like do something other than just look at the pictures, which is what I've done with Geek Knits. I just look at the pictures. <laughs> now you'll be able to knit everything from it. I'm excited about this prospect. <laughs> Do you think it'll happen? I do. All I right. definitely do. All right. So the first thing you'll learn is how to cast on, which is starting your knitting. We'll teach you just a basic cast on, easy peasy. How to bind off, which is what you do when you finish your knitting. The knit stitch, the purl stitch. How to read a pattern. This is going to be important because reading a pattern isn't just like reading a page from a book. And since we'll be in Iceland, you'll need to learn how to read a recipe, as they call knitting patterns over there. So you'll need how to learn to read the pattern and to read a chart, which charts are part of the knitting pattern. You definitely use them in Lopa Pages because to see how to do your color work on your yoke, it's all in a chart. Which I know this sounds like a foreign language to you right now. It does. <laughs> you'll learn how to increase. It's a chart, though. <laughs> you'll learn how to increase stitches decrease stitches and two color knitting which is important for an Icelandic sweater because they're not just one color you need to learn how to hold two strands of yarn at the same time one in each hand this seems very complicated <laughs> but once you learn those things you'll learn how to make a loaf of Peja. that's it that's all there is to it so I'm gonna one by one I'm gonna go through these things I'm gonna yep. have them and then when we get to Iceland, there's going to be a sweater. That's the it. The very first episode, the next thing you guys are going to watch is going to be Kyle learning how to cast on and do the knit stitch. Excited. <laughs> we hope you stick with us in the coming weeks. If you think of anything else that you think Kyle should learn how to knit, just even if it has nothing to do with the sweater, but you just think it'd be really funny to watch him learn, just post it in the comments and we'll add it to the list. I'm an open book. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We will see you soon. Bye.